Right now at five, case dropped. An accused gunman in the banquet hall shooting will not face charges. Tonight, why prosecutors say they had no choice but to drop their case connected to a deadly mass shooting. CBS 4's Ted Scown is live at the jail with why prosecutors are not formally charging Warren Eric Buckner. Ted? Well, Elliot and Lauren, it all comes down to his Miranda rights. According to the state attorney's office, the suspect asked for an attorney while he was being questioned. They say that the, that interrogation by police continued. Therefore, everything that happened after he asked for the attorney has to be thrown out. Right now, we're waiting for him to be released from jail. You were arrested for two cases. When Warren Eric Buckner was arrested and charged with three counts of murder and 20 counts of attempted murder for the El Mula Club shooting, it was considered a big break in the case. During questioning, Buckner admitted to being the person in the front seat of this SUV and being one of the three people from the vehicle who fired into the crowd, according to his arrest report. But now prosecutors are not charging him, saying when he was questioned by investigators, he implicated himself and other gunmen, but that the defendant initially invoked his right to counsel and despite that invocation, homicide investigators with the Miami-Dade Police Department continued to conduct an interrogation. Attorney Mark Eiglarsh is not involved in the case. He explains what this all means. The prosecutor is saying that they violated the defendant's Miranda rights, so his statement is not going to come into evidence. What's left? doesn't prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt, according to the prosecutor. In their memo, the state attorney's office said, without the statement, the state of Florida concludes that there is insufficient evidence at this point in time to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt. It's extremely serious because it appears that he admitted his involvement in a significant crime. An attorney for one of the victims shot in the mass shooting said, it's very unfortunate that this individual may escape criminal punishment. However, it is honorable to witness our elected prosecutors uphold the Constitution. Constitution. Buckner's attorney made a brief statement saying only, I'm happy that the state took this action. But in the memo from the state attorney, they made it clear this case is still open. What prosecutors are saying is that it's not over, that if there's other evidence excluding his alleged confession that somehow proves this case beyond a reasonable doubt, then they will go forward with charges. And now we are hearing from the Miami-Dade Police Department. Uh, Director Freddie Ramirez tweeted uh, not long ago saying, I was disappointed and saddened to learn from the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office that Mr. Warneric Buckner's confession on his involvement in the Almula Banquet Hall shooting was deemed inadmissible. We will continue investigating to ensure that justice is served on all that are responsible for this heinous crime. We remain committed to the victims and the families of those that tragically lost their lives. We will continue working together with the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office Office to bring closure for all involved. But at least for now, what it means is that he should be getting out of jail. We're waiting to see if that's going to happen tonight or if that will wait until tomorrow. Right now, we're still waiting for the paperwork to arrive here at the jail for him to be released. Live in Northwest Miami Dade, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you. The first suspect arrested in the shooting was 22 year old Devontae Barnes. He's accused of being the lookout in the shooting. Barnes is still awaiting trial on three counts of first degree murder and 20 counts of attempted murder. If convicted, he faces the death penalty.